Hi. All right, I'm going to do my April faux Hobonichi flip through. I took the cover off because it was getting too bulky and I think it still looks pretty cool. Doing a lot, but I had to take the cover off. Uh, this is one of those Tim Holtz elastic um, bands and I just added a cute little uh, charm that I just thought I'd add. So um, April wasn't, eh, wasn't too exciting, but I'll go ahead and do hopefully do a fast one for you. Here it is. Um, let's see if everything's okay. I'm going to do this pretty fast. April 1st, eh, I just started doing some, um, of, started some of my pocket letters. That was my mom's 87th birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I've raised been starting to look, he was looking for a new bike. He has an old giant bike that he's going to give one of our grandsons while he, while he stays with us during the summer, during the week. And um, so Ray's going to buy a new bike. He's going to give Wally his old bike. And the three of us can do a lot of bike riding this summer. I do all my spring cleaning. I mean, I really tear up the house. I uh, change all the beddings and wash all the uh, shears and the windows. And I, I just do this every spring and winter. I changed all my beddings in my bedrooms and uh, cleaned out my closet. Got some of my summer clothes. Well, I'm ready for the summer, but it's still not here. We're sporadic with the weather. Um, the crocuses, I know I started to log, but I do have a uh, garden uh, journal that I might be doing videos on. I don't know. I'll see. But I, I wrote, logged in here that my crocuses were starting to pop up. Um, I found a couple of stamps. We went to uh, Goodwill and I picked up a couple of stamps. <clears throat> and uh, I'm noticing that the trees are starting to bloom. Here was Easter. Love this Hershey's dark chocolate. We went out to eat. Here, um, my son stopped over after dinner and they brought two cars because two of his sons are now starting to drive and that is kind of like, oh, grandma's getting a little nervous. But so uh, one of my grandsons with his dad and my our other grandson with, was with his mom. So um, that was kind of odd to see my grandsons. Uh, I'm waving goodbye and they're, they're driving, you know, grandma's waving goodbye. Um, I had a bad day here. It was just like a lot of stuff going on. And so I says, you know, I haven't, I mean, it was really a bad, just everything just was going wrong. And I had a problem with the my uh, debit card and there was a fraudulent transaction. And it's a, it, like I say, it's such a long story. And they were, the bank was just supposed to go ahead and um, uh, cancel out the, the transaction. But what they did is they uh, canceled out my card. So I went to I went to use my debit card at Walgreens and it wouldn't accept it and it was a little bit embarrassing but whatever, um, and there was other things that went went on. I says you know what Ray I says I I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some wine. So I I make I tease Ray I said I'm gonna go down in the wine cellar and get a bottle of wine. Well I went down in the basement and I got a bottle of wine. Uh, happy meal I got two um, I got uh, two pocket letters that day so that kind of kind of cheered me cheered me up. Um, I'm start, I started cleaning my craft room and I just, I love organizing and cleaning my craft room because I'm always organizing, I'm always cleaning, uh, I'm, I'm not productive. I'm productive in so many other things in my life, but for some reason in my craft room, I think I get distracted and go, oh wow, I can't remember I had this and I had that. So um, I was cleaning my craft room. I went to um, Goodwill and I found this stamp. I did uh, give this stamp to somebody so I do not have this stamp and it was only for 50 cents and it was a rubbernecker. It wasn't even used. I think it was a 395. Yeah, it was a 395 stamp and I got it for 50 cents. I sat, I had my more wine and I watched my Mad Men. I have to have them watch my Mad Men. And um, I uh, I had just watched the, um, the DVR of that. Um, I got some more pocket letters. We got real bad storms, but I said, you know, April showers brings May flowers. We had tornado warnings. There were some more storms. Finally, I got my hair cut and colored and trimmed. I couldn't wait to get uh, that done. And then uh, Ray got 20 bags of mulch because we do our own backyard. Oh, it's just, and I said, we are getting, uh, we're getting, I'm tired of this. I'm getting too old to do this every year. I think we're going to have to have somebody start doing this. Because the yard work is just getting too much. I mean, we can still do it, but why? 
I started making some more pocket letters. The, these, the pocket letters were just so much fun to make. Uh, I finished all my pocket letters, and uh, I have to go to the post office and mail out the rest of them, and then I have to concentrate on some cards that I have to make for uh, May. Ray and I did another long bike ride. Uh, we started, uh, I started weeding and started laying all the mulch. No big deal, just working in the yard. I had the Game of Thrones marathon, 10.30 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. Um, even though I watched the series and everything, but you know, you forget after uh, this, you know, the new season starts, uh, the lap. So I sat and I watched all of it so I can remember what's going on and remember who's who, you know, all the characters, because there's new characters this year, this season. So, and this, this is my version of the throne. That was kind of funny. Yeah, see, I can draw. Um, like I say, nothing really going on. I'm doing a lot of working in my yard and stuff. You know, Ray and I, um, I got my bike mount from Amazon, and that's nice because uh, now I can put my phone uh, on my bicycle, and um, I did buy a... Um, uh, I, I got this uh, sports tracker. That's what it's called, the sports tracker. So now I can keep track of how far we go and how long and stuff. Ray finally cut the grass for the first time. We we had I have nine ornamental grasses in the back, and they're about uh, 12, 15 feet tall, and we leave them for the winter. They turn like almost like a straw, uh, very pretty. And uh, we leave them for the winter for the birds so they have somewhere to uh, protect themselves in the winter time. And then in the spring, I go ahead and I take electric hedge clippers and I cut them all down. Well, that's a lot of work. And what I did is I prepped a chicken and I put that in the oven and I roasted a chicken while we were doing that. And I had um, uh, roasted a chicken, garlic, mashed potatoes, and spinach. Uh, I, I'm Like I say, I'm still doing my spring cleaning and stuff. And we had some old dishes that I wanted to get rid of. We had them for about nine years and they were starting to get chipped and... I says, ah, why, you know, why keep these? So I got rid of those, and I went down to the basement, and I got my, uh, and I've had these for like 10, 12 years. These are the good, good everyday china, they call it. But I figured, I've had them for like 10, 12 years. Why, why keep them down in the basement and start using this stuff? Because I know the kids don't want this stuff. So that's what I did, is I brought up, and we, um, uh, we're using the new dishes now. Uh, let's see here. Our daughter Carrie stopped by. That was a nice visit. I just love when she just stops by just to hey, just to say hi. That was just a nice little short visit. I started soaking my sunflower seeds in the house. That's easier to do to start the uh, seedlings in the house is that you soak the seeds overnight. That kind of helps germinate them. So I soaked them and I went ahead and uh, started and I put them in the trays. And they right now, they're about maybe three four inches tall not bad uh, I've been having some issues so I went to the doctor and I had a chest x-ray and an EKG still I still wasn't feeling there's something you know there's something going on with me and I just don't know what it is and so I started getting a toothache and I said oh you've got to be kidding me I have some issues going on here and then I got a toothache but I had to have my teeth cleaned anyway so I went to the dentist and um, he took x-rays and he goes Linda everything's fine he thinks it might be sinuses that's okay, fine, because I don't, I don't take any medication unless I have to. He gave me some antibiotics to take just in case, um, but I don't know. I still have the issue now and then, so maybe it is sinuses. I didn't have an infection, but whatever. I saw this cute saying on uh, Pinterest, so I thought I would go ahead and put that in here. Be nice first, and that's what I did. I was that today, that day. I should do it more often. <laughs> Be nice first. So I did that today. Um, this Tuesday morning, this is the one Tuesday morning, I got a great haul. I did I did a haul video on that one. Um, this is the one that is in, uh, when I went to visit, the, when, visit when I went to see the, the dentist, there's a Tuesday morning. And it's about 45 minutes away. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, this is the biggest Tuesday morning in the Midwest. Huge. And I only had about 45 minutes to shop because I had to make the uh, dentist appointment. So like I said, that was, um, uh, that was a good thing that, and I haven't been there since I'm trying not to, but, uh, oh, great, great deals I got from Tuesday morning. Uh, let's see here. We, Ray and I went to a military rummage sale. I bought a necklace kind of just to support the military and their families and stuff. Uh, this here, I was sitting in my craft room 
and I hear this noise and I look up and across the street I see an SUV. It jumped the curb, ran, ran over the grass and made a dead stop about like a hundred feet. She gets out of the she gets out of the SUV, looks around, and she gets in her she gets back in her SUV. So I ran downstairs and I'm calling I'm calling Ray, Ray, and he goes, What? I says, Come on outside. And I ran across the street and she I told her, Stop, stop. She was gonna drive away. I says, What's wrong? What happened? She had to be like in her late twenties and she started crying. She goes, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. She goes, I fell asleep at the wheel. She says, I've been up. She goes, My my son's been, my two-year-old son's been sick all night and I had to work and blah, blah, blah. And I says, oh my goodness, just as long everything is okay. You Thank goodness you didn't hurt anybody. Because right, we have, right across the street, I have um, a little lake. And there were five kids fishing on just on the other little part of the curve of where she went over the grass. I says, you know how, I started yelling at her because I was really upset with her at first. She is so lucky that, thank goodness, that the kids, the five kids that were fishing weren't there. She would have ran over all five of the kids. Just unbelievable. So then I calmed down. She drove away, whatever. We took a bike ride. Um, this is where I put the uh, my iPhone and I got uh, the sports tracker. And um, we, we went almost an hour and we did almost seven miles, so... That was nice, and we have a nice uh, route that we take, and we go to actually go to a forest preserve and ride through the forest preserve. So it's a nice, nice ride. This was cute. In our, uh, upstairs in my uh, bedroom, there's this tree and this robin. This poor robin, she was trying to make a nest, and every time she would put something in it, the wind would blow it away. And oh, she was just she was. I was getting flustered for her, but the poor thing, she gave up. Then this was funny. We look out. I look outside. Uh, my patio, and there's the, and Ray's never seen this either, there's the pair of mallard ducks, and the male was eating, but the female was sitting on the fence, and we've never seen a duck that actually sits on a fence, because she's got the web feet, and she's sitting, yeah, it's kind of odd to see the web feet holding on to the, you know, the wooden fence, I don't know, it's just kind of odd, Ray says it was kind of funny, and then this, and the was funny thing is, is that she's sitting on the fence, and there's the squirrel, and he's walking the fence, and I think they were playing like chicken. And the squirrel would run down the fence, then go around her this way, and she'd look down. She'd look down at him, but she wouldn't move. And then he would run back down this, down, and then up, and then this way, and then back. And he did it a couple of times. I think he was the squirrel was trying to force her to move, and she she held her ground. She wasn't going to move off that fence. Um. I said it was raining. Um, let's see. It started to rain, uh, but I said April showers brings May flowers. I went to visit my mom this day, and I brought my uh, Foho Benici with me. I wanted to see if she could still remember her name and write, and um, she wrote her name, but then she asked me how to spell Linda, and uh, she wrote the L-I-N, and then I said D, and she couldn't remember what D looked like. And then she concentrated, concentrated, then she put the D-A. So that is, um, that's my mom's. That's my mom's condition with the dementia. But uh, Papa Doos. Uh, I use these book matches to light my candles. And Papa Doos is one of my favorite restaurants. It's a um, great seafood kitchen. And I thought I'd just add that because I finished up this um, book of matches, so I thought I'd put Papa Do in there. Um, this is where I clean my kitchen. I washed all my kitchen cabinets inside and out, took the dishes out. I bought this um, cleaner that my um, BFF told me about at the dollar store. It's called Awesome. I've never heard of it before, but it cleans really good, so check it out. Um, I took a picture of my sunflowers. They're really doing good. I eat Honey Nut Cheerios every so often, and uh, here's the Honey Bee, and um, I'm seriously thinking about being a beekeeper. I'm there. Um, I'm starting to read more and more about it. That with the environment and something about the honey, um, uh, honey bees. So I have to do a little bit more investigating to see if it, if I can do it and see what's involved in it. Maybe I just have to buy. The houses and then they take over I don't know 
but I want to make sure that if I do something like that, that I continue. I don't want to start something and not finish it. Uh, there was a wind advisory. It was 50 mile an hour winds. And it is e easy to be in green. Ride your bike. I'm going to try to ride my bike as much as I can, but with the weather and stuff. And then Wednesday, the 22nd of April, was Earth Day. And I was planning on really doing something um, doing something different for Earth Day. I just didn't know what I was going to do. And like I said, I haven't been feeling well. And um, Ray ended up um, taking me to the emergency room Wednesday night. And uh, they kind of scared me. Well, I, maybe I scared them. I don't know. I had pressure I've been having for the last six weeks. And you can tell that my voice is hoarse. I've been having pressure uh, in the center of my chest and in my throat. It feels like I'm, I'm being choked. And, um, and it got really bad on Wednesday. So we didn't want to take any chances. So Ray took me to the ER. And um, they did EKG and chest x-rays. And they finally took uh, x-rays of my throat. They did scare me at one point. They gave me nitro to put under my tongue and four baby aspirins, but it was just a precaution to make sure I wasn't having a heart attack. And um, like I say, two thumbs up. Everything is okay. My heart is okay, and that's a good thing. Um, I did do, so I was uh, admitted for a 23-hour observation. Hey, I'm saying the food wasn't bad, either that or I was hungry. Um, I did do the stress test where they inject the uh, dye, then they take pictures of your vessels to your heart or whatever. Then I was on the treadmill. And once I'm finished with the treadmill, they inject the dye and then take more pictures of their heart to make sure that there isn't any blockage. Well, you know, I know I'm a healthy person, but you know what? You just don't know. You think you're always healthy, but you know, there could be something there. My treadmill, she says that um, I rated like a 42-year-old female. So, uh, yeah, if I can go ahead and work six hours in the yard and cut down 15-foot uh, Aztec grasses, yes, I think I could walk on a treadmill. Yes, I think I could ride my bike for seven miles, ten miles. But the thing is, is what they did find out, oh, and then, uh, thank goodness, I came home and I says, there's no place like home. What I did, and I wasn't happy with my doctor, so after a 15-year relationship with my doctor, I no longer have that doctor. I made, um, I called uh, my um, ENT, uh, ear, ear, nose, and throat doctor. I did see him, and it turns out that I have, uh, because there's a lot of stress in my life, which I don't talk about, I um, apparently have GERD, which causes that acid backup, which I didn't even know I had. And guess what? Some of the symptoms which causes uh, more of this acid reflux is coffee. Yes, I love my coffee. I talk about my coffee. So um, I'm on just a, um, he did a scope down my nose. My esophagus is all red and swollen, and that's why I feel like I'm choking. That's why I have the pressure in my chest. It feels like having a heart attack, but no. So that's why I cough and I have a dry hoarseness, is that's part of the symptoms. My diet has something to do with it now only because of the stress, but I can't give up my coffee. So I am on medication twice a day to kind of calm down my stomach, but I will be a little bit more careful, um, and hopefully I'll see him in June, and uh, hopefully my stomach will settle down and everything will be okay. So that was the, that was a, like a little bit of excitement for uh, April, but besides that, there's really nothing else going on. Um, I did a challenge. Um, I haven't been doing too many challenges because I was doing the pocket letters and cleaning stuff. I don't like to commit myself to anything if I know I'm not going to do it at 100%. I made a haul video on my uh, another haul that I made. Um, I bought some beautiful uh, paper, the red, white, and blue paper, to do my uh, pocket letters for uh, France and Denmark. Ray had chased for Chinese food again, so uh, I thought, well, the Chinese food with the rice, that didn't, my stomach was okay with that. Um, didn't do much. I did so, I got some washi tape from the dollar store. This is that paper from, um, I think it's, I don't know what paper that is. It's pebbles. Oh, that's pebbles paper. That's right. We're 10, see, 43, see, the end of April, 43. That's why I'm saying this weather is sporadic. 
We're 10, uh, 10 degrees below average. Ray May hot dogs. I did some more pocket letters. Went to Goodwill and found some. Um, I, I bought a small vase. Really pretty. I think it's antique because it's etched glass. Um, I have this beautiful jasmine bush out on the side. Now I can't cut any more of the jasmine branches, br jasmine off of it because there's a robin building a nest. So I don't want to disturb the robin. But I bought this beautiful oval um, cut glass uh, vase, small, to put my jasmine in, uh, my fresh jasmine. But now I can't because of the robin, which is fine. Again, I'm making more and more trips to the um, to the dollar store. I mean, I'm really getting into this dollar store. I bought some more journals. Um, we're looking for a new bed. We're going to get a new mattress, I think. Ray and I went to uh, Bath and Body Works, and I got my, he had, uh, you buy three, you get three free, and then $10, $10 off. Stopped at Panera Bread again. I love that chicken cob avocado salad. Bought myself some more uh, Yankee candles. I had all my coupons, thought, since I'm at the mall. Might as well shop there and get all that done, too. Um, this is where I went to the ENT, and I found, you know, he found out what was wrong. Thank goodness that's uh, that's all that's wrong. So that's something that I think that I can control and, you know. Um, these are the, the pocket letters I finished up, and they, they were so much fun, and I can't wait to get these from France, Australia, and Hawaii. Um, Carrie, my, our daughter stopped by again, and had, we just had a nice little visit. This was a uh, this was it turned out to be a beautiful day. I made an appointment to see my new doctor. I have a new doctor now, and uh, she's very very nice. I don't see her until um, July, and I finally see. I did this yesterday. I finally uh, cleaned, finished cleaning my craft room, all the, and I ordered, see, what I did is I ordered a bunch of dog themed stuff. I can't wait to get it from scrapbook.com and Hallmark. And I'm a little, I don't know about Hallmark. I ordered a stamp and a die set and then they said they refunded me some money, but they didn't tell me what was out of stock. I'm not too happy with them because if I get the die cut and not the stamp, and then it's on back order. I'm not going to be a happy camper. But I, so I said, yeah, I made room in my craft room um, so I can put more of my goodies that I'm buying. Went to the dollar store again and um, had to buy my Starburst. And one of the pocket letters that I just did yesterday uh, from a sweet girl, Liz, she loves dogs. And this pocket letter just touched my heart because it was themed uh, for the love of dogs. And naturally, that's close to my heart. So this was on the envelope, and I had to put that on here. This is my start of May. I'm going to do something different because this format, you know, this is okay. But um, sometimes I get tired of doing the same thing, just like other people. It's time to change. I've been doing this since December, and uh, this is going into May, and yes, I want to do something different, so I think that maybe, just maybe, May and June, I might be able to get that, and then I'll go, and I'll probably start a new book. So, this is my April flip through, and it is a lot of fun, and I thank you very much for listening <laughs> to what's going on in my life. It's fun, though. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.